Hello, Internet, and welcome to Jazz Jackrabbit, I guess. This is one of the few games that I could find on the Internet that were Christmas-themed that we'd be able to do for the channel. Uh, kind of a uh, more obscure game, but it's actually kind of fun. I might do another one of these games later on for the channel because it's actually, uh, I played like the first level through and it's pretty fun actually. Except it does have problems because it was originally developed for DOS. Okay, well anyways, the music's really nice for this because it's not like the weird um, Days Before Christmas music. It actually is somewhat Christmas music. Oops, I meant to look at the enemy before I killed him, but whatever. Okay, I'm currently- there's two modes, it's like a slow motion mode that speeds down- Okay, here we go, this is what I want to look- What? It's- I don't get the point of this as being an enemy. A rat or something? Well, anyways, uh, there's two modes actually on this game. There's a slow motion mode, which is what I'm on currently, and then there's the fast motion mode, where you don't have any idea what's going on. Unless you're falling or jumping or something, because then it doesn't really matter. But it does make this game really hard to play if you do it in regular mode, because either one, the game just goes too fast regularly, or two, modern CPUs are way too fast for this game. And I don't feel like fiddling with the settings in DOSBox. So yeah, this is how you get a checkpoint. You shoot these weird signs with a check on them. I guess it makes sense, but it's kind of odd. Wait, does that say Epic Mega Games? Is that the company that makes this? Did they advertise themselves on, like, candy bars on their game? That's kind of odd. Not something I've seen done before. At least not candy bars. <laughs> Where you can't see the whole, um, name of the company. It's kind of odd. Okay. I don't know what this level is. All I can tell is it has some Christmas-themed items. I don't know what the ground or walls or whatever this these are made of has Hershey's Kisses, <laughs> lollipops, and a bunch of guns, and candy bars that say Epic Mega Games on them. At least that's what I'm pretty sure they say. It's an, it's odd for Christmas theme. I mean, but it's actually not bad. It's definitely better than that last game I played. That wasn't very fun. <laughs> Although it did take a little bit more work to get set up because I had to go through a setup thing because it was a computer game, but the only option, strangely, that I had to mess with in there was for sound cards. And I had to go through each sound card individually to see what actually worked, and two or three of them worked, but this one sounds the best, because I had some air getting it. It just wouldn't start when I set it to certain sound cards, which was really odd. But at least since it works now, I'm pretty happy. Also, these springs are stolen straight out of Sonic, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I couldn't read that because it was too fast, and it set me off of um, uh, slow motion mode. See how fast this is? You can't play it this fast. Ow. Okay, back to slow motion mode it is. Uh, nothing over there. I thought there was something. Okay. Uh, over the Oreos, or probably generic, um, Walmart or Kroger brand cookies. Because Oreos are expensive, and no one wants to spend money on Oreos. <laughs> Except that's a lie, because I'd ra Ooh, dang. Well, someone has apparently started- wait, it starts off happy, then it gets, uh, just medium, I guess, then it gets bitten in the head and it gets sad, and then it gets eaten all the way, I guess. Well, the head off, pretty much. Huh, it has a couple of, uh, voice bits, I guess, if you want to call it that. Huh. Old computer games. I gotta play some more old computer games on the channel, I think that would be fun. Because they're interesting. Because they weren't always up to the quality of uh, console games, because no one really cared. Well, they did care, just they were- it was easier to develop for. Or, I don't know that it was easier, but it cost less. Because you didn't have to buy a license for as much as you did on like the SNES or the Genesis or anything like that, or the PlayStation. Um. Oh wait, that was a checkpoint, that's what that was. <laughs> I was getting really confused because I couldn't figure out what that was. Oh, that's cool. They have the star up in the top right. So is this supposed to be like on Christmas on some weir on some foreign planet or something? Huh. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, it doesn't really make any sense. They they tried at least though. They tried, and it's not bad. It's just not good. <laughs> it's actually really not half bad a game though. I'll probably play some more of this later. I guess the carrots are the health pickup then. I guess it makes sense because it's a rabbit. 
I was trying to think of another game's health pickup, but... Oh, I was trying to think of either Mario or Sonic's, but then I realized they didn't have health pickups because they just did, like, the power-up thing to do more health. Huh. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. I was gonna say I couldn't figure out what the first game to have um, health like that was, but then I realized it was obviously, uh... Actually, I really don't know what it was, but it definitely wasn't this. What, did I die? Oh, okay, I thought I died since it made me, like, kind of float in the air a bit. Okay. Just gotta blast through all these weird red rat mice things that are for some reason the enemies. You'd think at least since they made everything else Christmas themed that they could do something Christmas themed for that, but I guess not. Doesn't have to. You can just make the enemies regular, I guess. Be no fun. <laughs> okay. I've never actually gotten past this level, or I might have, but I don't remember what was past it if I did. I have to go really slow because if you can see in the bottom left, that's where the health is, which I just picked up more of. And I had no health after I got hit another time. Oh, they have a, a... Oops, I pressed down. Didn't expect that to happen. Okay, but there's like a gap right there. That's kind of odd. It's kind of broken level, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. I beat this level. I don't know what's after this one. Let's see if it has Christmas music or not. Because I don't know if it's going to. Oh, gotta press T because it's really slow if I don't... Loading... What level did it say? Block Sornius. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's like a Lego level. Or probably Mega Blocks. <laughs> okay, nope. Doesn't sound like Christmas music. I don't think. Oh no, it is Christmas music. That's pretty cool. Better than the um, Days Before Christmas thing. I tried uh, shooting those things because it reminded me of the, the whole Kool-Aid Man walls in um, Days Before Christmas. That's what it looked like, at least to me. But I guess that's not what it is. Also, I was messing around with this, and you can shoot the Lego men's head off. At least I like their Lego. Can't really tell. But that's what they look like to me. Ow. What? I didn't expect that to be an enemy. I thought it was just kind of a stage thing. Gonna destroy the Lego men head. And there's an Energizer bunny that says Epic on it. So it's not quite an Energizer bunny, I guess. But it's close enough, because everyone's gonna recognize what that is. Okay, down whatever's here. Is the ball an enemy? No, it's not. Okay, good. Oh no, it's one of the dolls. That's such an odd enemy. Because you're not gonna- I didn't expect it to be the enemy. I thought it was just kind of a stage thing, like the Lego men. But no, it's an enemy. Okay. Ow. Oh, and this is- I'll show you before we finish, but this is one of the few old games where like- I guess it must have been a common thing among computer games or something. But you can actually order stuff- you can like order more parts of the game or something from within the game. And they ship they shipped it with um, ordering information in the uh, program files because I have a thing that has order forms for the UK, um, Australia. I'm not sure if I have one actually for America, which is kind of odd. How do I get up there? There must be a way up there because that's the end over there. Huh? Haven't actually gotten this far, so not sure where to go. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep going down. What the? Huh? Is that an enemy? No. Well, it hits something. Maybe if I just keep shooting it. No? Okay. Just keep going, then. Oh, yep, here's a checkpoint, so I guess I wasn't there yet. Got stabbed by some pins. Okay, let's see what's on forward here. Anything interesting? Floating Legos? Sure. I'll, I'll ride one. Uh, I have to keep going forward or it's gonna... Whoa, what was that noise? Uh, anyways, I had to keep moving forward or else it made me fall off. And also, I'm probably gonna die. If I die, then I'll show you, um... What was it, the menu? It's really odd. I guess it must have been just something that computer games did. Oh, no, not gonna die. But I'll show you at the end, because I thought it was interesting. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just common. But I've never seen a game that did that before. I never played really that many old DOS games, though, except for what I got. What? Okay, so one time I went to um, a flea market, and they had like a huge box of old computer games for like $10. It had a ton of awesome games on it. Well, not really. But there were a bunch of old games on it. Some of them were pretty fun. Like Rails Across America. Maybe I could find that game. That was kind of fun. It was like a Tycoon Railroad game. But anyways, it had a bunch of games. and a Battleship game. And then it all got thrown away one day. And I didn't, couldn't find it. And it turned out it had gotten thrown away into the garbage can. And it had at least 10, 20 games on there. And I could f I could have figured out how to run them eventually, but... No, it got thrown away. Okay, anyways. 
Uh, I had fun with that. We're gonna show you now at the uh, menu that weird uh, ordering thing. Hopefully this doesn't make me leave the game. Okay, good it is. Here's the order info right here. I just think it's really odd that they do something like this in a game. I mean, I have some other games where they have like trailers for other games they've made, but I've never had a game where it actually gives you the number to call to buy more stuff. See, it says it right there. Call that number to order nine more amazing uh, jazz episodes on CD. I've never had a game where it does something like that. Um, and then there's even an offer on here. Until January 31st, 1996, you can get Jazz CD for $10 off the regular price. Price. $39 instead of $49. Maybe they'll still give me the deal if I call in. If they even exist anymore, which I don't think they do. Because I'm pretty sure, uh, this was on an abandonware website. But, it was- it's really odd. I've never seen a game do something like this. Oh, and I just saw Inside the Green. Apparently, on si inside of that CD, you get five whole megs of cartoon animation and a full-color jazz comic book. Just, first of all, what does megs mean? Is it supposed to be like megabytes or something for the 90s? And I don't think people really care that much for something where it's like such a small company like this. I don't, I don't think they really cared for a whole comic book. Uh, and then on here they tell you where to send your money or where to call. They have uh, three different numbers. An ordering hotline, a questions hotline, and a fax hotline. Wait, fax? No, that's not a hotline. Why do I call them hotlines? But that's where apparently you can fax- I guess you can fax it? Huh. And then apparently you have to pay sales tax early in Maryland. And then it gives you information for uh, other stuff that you can buy, I guess. And then even different countries they have what you can do to buy it. That's crazy to me. Well, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, have a Merry Christmas, and, uh, Zephyrian out.